So guys, super interesting. Did you know that virtual reality gaming could be a genuine way of helping patients with chronic low back pain? This sounds like it might be a game changer. Let's find out more. Hey guys, Khaled here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So here's a super cool idea that I've been seeing a lot more of in the research. Here is a systematic review from Brea Gomez et al. 2021, where they looked to see if virtual reality could be an effective treatment method for patients with persistent low back pain. And their results were awesome. They did indeed find that there were significant improvements in patients' conditions when they used virtual reality compared to those who did not. And if you want access to that article, there's a link in the description below. So how does virtual reality help these patients? Well, one factor that Brea Gomez et al. found was that there was a significant improvement in kinesophobia. What is that? Well, it's a common symptom that we sometimes see in patients with persistent low back pain, where they worry that moving is going to hurt their back. This in turn makes them more stiff, they lose muscle strength, and naturally they lose confidence too. We sometimes refer to this as fear avoidance or kinesophobia, a phobia of moving. Of course, the great thing with virtual reality is that it can almost mimic movement or perhaps send messages from the back, the arms or the legs to the brain to highlight that movement might be safe after all. Perhaps if the patient can see themselves moving well in virtual reality, that message system in the brain might be created to show that they could do it in real life as well. The researchers also noted that there must be a lot to be said for in terms of the motivational component of engaging with virtual reality. It's fun, it's enjoyable. If there's a particular task that the patient has to do in the game, it means that they're more driven to achieve it. Therefore, this compels them to do the treatment more often. And hey, more movement means more improvements. Perhaps as well, it's something that the patient can replicate all the time if they choose to buy their own VR gaming system at home. It's a win-win all round and absolutely reproducible in practice. So perhaps virtual reality gaming is a really great way to start patients with persistent pain on their journey to improving their movement. And hey, once that happens, then they will feel much more confident to exercise themselves, to go back to walking, to go back to cycling and their hobbies and activities. I've definitely seen virtual reality being used in pain management centers throughout the UK. Let's hope that there's even more to come. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please support us by smashing that like button and subscribe to our channel for even more updates. And we've got loads of resources for physios on our Instagram account, at Clinical Physio, and on our website, clinicalphysio.com. My name's Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.